Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It's been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And today I have a 1977 game for you, Stratomatic, um, the Stratomatic basic game. And this is uh, kind of commemorating the fact that the White Sox, my White Sox have made the playoffs this year. And uh, it's going to be the 1977 White Sox against the 1977 Texas Rangers. And... Because the White Sox made the uh, the current White Sox made the playoffs in real life, the pitcher for the White Sox today is going to be Steve Stone, who is one of the White Sox announcers. And um, they will be going up against the Rangers, and pitching for the Rangers will be Burt Blylove. And so that's going to be a tough um, assignment. Uh, in, in 1977, the Texas Rangers finished second place in the AL West with a 94 and 68 record. And incredibly, the White Sox finished third with a 90 and 72 record. 90 wins for the third place team. You just don't see that anymore. So anyway, got my trusty scoreboard up here. Hopefully there will not be any mistakes made with it. Because if you remember the last game I put up, the Reds of 1972 against the, I think it was the 86 Mets, I kept messing up the scoreboard numbers. So if I, if that happens, um, well, you know, follow along, and then it won't be a big deal. Um, so the we're going to call the Rangers the home team here. And so that means that Burt Blylevin will be pitching first on the mound. And Burt Blylevin in 1977 was 14 and 12 with a 272 earned run average in 30 starts. The White Sox team has a terrible defense. Their team defense is, is horrid, especially in the outfield. So I have no idea how they won 90 games, but they did. They must have been a great hitting team. In fact, today I'm playing Jim Spencer at first base only because I'm trying to get a little defense for this team. So, without any further delay, we will have Alan Bannister stepping in against Burt Blylevin. And that is a 6-8, and that is a strikeout. One away. Chet Lemon is the next batter. He gets a 1-8, which is a double 1-10 or a single. And that is going to be a double. So we've got a double right off the, uh, well, not right off the bat, but only one batter or two batters in. Chet Lemon at second, one away. And Eric Satterholm up, and he gets a, whoa, that's a home run one or a fly ball. So let's not get excited. It is actually a fly ball to left field. There is two away, and Oscar Gamble stepping in against Bly Levin. And that's a 5-10, which is a strikeout. So the White Sox go quickly there. And that brings up the... Um, so we've got no runs, and we got one hit. That brings up Bump Wills to face Stoney, Steve Stone. And that's a 4-11, which is a walk. Stone, Steve Stone walks the first... Texas batter. Juan Benitez is up. He gets a 110. That's a triple 1 to 12. Stoney is getting stoned. All right, so there is a man at third already. And, uh, um, and already a run is in, too. Or wait a minute. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They did score a run. So they got one hit, one run. Man at third, 90 feet away. 
And Mike Hargrove, the uh, human rain delay, gets a 6-7, which is a double 1-9 to nine or a single. Stone, Steve Stone may not be in this game very long. That's another hit. And it's another run. And up steps Toby Hara. 3 7. That's a triple 1 to 2 single double asterisk. All right, this is just not Steve Stone's day. Um, that is going to be a single double asterisk. Runners are at the corners. And Toby Hare, or no, not Toby Hare, he was just up. Willie Horton is up, and he gets a 6-10. And that is a fly ball to center. That's Chet Lemon, and he's a 3. He was a 3 in 1977. That is a 10 and a 3 in the outfield, and it is an out 5 runner on third scores. So we no longer have a runner on third because he came in. And there is, that's the first out. I think that's the first out. Isn't it? I believe it is. And that brings up Jim Sunberg. And Jim Sunberg gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball into a double play to shortstop. And mercifully, that inning is over, but not before the uh, Rangers got three runs off Stone. So now the White Sox will try to go out there and at least get something off of Bly Levin. Richie Zisk is up. He gets a 4-4. That is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the um, Texas Rangers appears to be Toby Hara, who is a third base three. So got a chance here. Maybe we do. 2-3 is going to be somebody getting on base. 2-3 is a single. So, should have known that. Really, I kind of did. But anyway, we get a uh, we get a hit. And George Orta is up. And he gets a 2-10, which is the ground ball pitcher double play. Thank you, George Orta. And up steps Jim Essien, the catcher. 3-7, that's a walk. So Jim Essien is aboard. And Jim Spencer's up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a line out to first base. And as I mentioned, Jim Spencer in there today for his defense, because this team is a horrid defensive team. And Steve Stone goes back out to the mound. Yes, he does. We'll see what he can manage to do this inning. Hopefully he can shut down the Texas Rangers. Claude L. Washington steps up, former White Sox, or at least future White Sox, something like that. He strikes out, and that's one away. Ken Henderson, who also was on the White Sox, and I think at this point was a former White Sox player. 6-9 is a fly ball to right field. Ken Henderson, of course, very good defensive outfielder. Didn't hit much, but he was a great defensive outfielder. And Campy Campanaris, the shortstop, steps in, and he gets a 4-5, which is a fly ball to center. And Stone, Steve Stone, has a much better uh, second inning than he did first inning. The White Sox down 3 nothing, and they will bring up Jack Brohammer to face Burt Blyle. And that is a 3-7, which is a single one to 18. And it is a single. So, Brohammer is on, and that is another hit for the White Sox. Alan Bannister up. He gets a 6-4. That's a ground ball C, second base. So that will move the runner up to second. But there's one down. Chet Lemon up. And that's a 1-5, which is a home run, one or a double. That's going to score a run for the White Sox. And it is a double. So we get another hit. And we get a run. And it's 3-1. to one, Runner at second. One out. Eric Satterholm up. He gets a 6-8. That is a strikeout. Two away. 
And that brings up Oscar Gamble, and he gets a 4-8, and that's a fly ball to right field. No more runs for the White Sox. But they cut the deficit to two, and hopefully Steve Stone can keep them in this at least a little longer until he can be relieved. And up steps Bump Wills. And he gets a 5-8, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a single. That's going to be a single. Another hit for Texas. Juan Beniquez gets a 3-3, three, three, which is the ground ball pitcher double play. Needed that. Stoney needed that badly. And up steps Mike Hargrove, the human rain delay. 5-7 is a walk. Human rain delay is aboard. And Toby Hare is up. And he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball to center field. And he is out. So, no runs for the uh, Rangers. We go to the top of the fourth in a 3-1 game. Richie Zisk is up. It's hard to know what team you're really grabbing because so many of these players were on both teams. In this time period, in the 70s, 80s. Richie Zisk, he gets a 5 7. That is a double 1 3 or a single. And that's going to be a single for Richie Zisk of Chicago, not of Texas. So we have another hit. Oh no, it's an error. I marked it as an error, so what? We're just going to have to live with it. Uh, George Orta. Gets a 5-5. Not like the White Sox aren't going to probably commit an error. That's a strikeout. Jim Essien is up. 1-9 is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And that brings up Jim Spencer. Gets a 4-9 and he strikes out. So. Uh, no runs come in for the White Sox. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Willie Horton is up, facing Stoney. 2-6 is a walk. So we already have a guy there, so we'll just keep him there. And we'll uh, denote that we are in the bottom of the fourth. Sunberg up, gets a 4-12, that's another walk. Stoney with a little, uh, little control problem here. Claude L. Washington gets a 5-4, and that is a catcher card X, and that is Essien, and he is a 2. He's a 2 in 77. 16-2 is wild pitch followed by foul out. So there's going to be runners at 2nd and 3rd uh, with 1 down. And with um, Ken Henderson up, we are going to bring the infield in. I don't like doing that, but 5'11 is a ground ball pitcher. He is um, a three. So that's a three. That's going to be a base hit. Three, three is a single one. Yeah. So Texas gets another hit. They get another run. They go ahead, four to one. I'm going to play for the double play now with runners at the corners. And Campy Camp and Aris up, and he gets a 310, which is a ground ball shortstop. Double play is exactly what I was hoping for. So, um, we're going to probably replace Stoney because he is not holding this team down. We go to the top of the fifth. With the White Sox losing 4-1, to one, Jack Brohammer up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a pop-out to second base. Alan Bannister up. He gets a 5-10, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Chet Lemon. Chet Lemon gets a 4-9, and that is a strikeout. No runs come across, and we are going to get another pitcher in here for the... Um, for the White Sox, and that pitcher is going to be, oh man, a lot of these guys didn't pitch a lot. But anyway, we're going to bring in Bruce Del Canton, 
I'm going to say anybody's available. Bruce Del Canton in 1977 only pitched 24 innings and allowed 20 hits and had two saves and a record of 0 2. So um, we got no runs in the fifth, and so we are now in the bottom of the fifth. Bump Wills is going to be facing Del Canton. And he gets a 1 2, which is a fly to center, one away. Juan Benitez gets a 1 9, which is a single. And that's another hit for Texas. Hardgrove is up. He gets a 6 7. 6 7 on Del Canton is a fly ball to uh, right field, two away. And Toby Harris gets a 2 8, and that's a ground ball third base. So Texas gets no runs there. And we go to the top of the sixth with the White Sox down by three, needing some runs. Soderholm steps in for the White Sox, trying to touch up Blylevin and not being real successful. 5-4 is a catcher card X, and the catcher is Jim Sundberg, and he's a one. So let's not expect anything there. 19 and 1 is a, or 18 and 1 is a foul out. So, one away, Oscar Gamble up. He gets a 1 6, which is a double 1 to 14. And that is going to be a double. Another hit for the White Sox. They are getting hits. We just aren't getting the runs in. One away, Richie Zisk up. And that's a 2 8. And that's going to be. A home run for Richie Zisk. Love it. That clears the bases. It's another hit. And it's two runs. Bly Levin is hopping mad. And George Ord is up. And it's 4-3. And he gets a 1-6, which is a home run 1-6 or a double. Did they tie the game? They did! George Orta ties the game with a jack of his own. Now I gave us another error. But the score is correct. It's 4-4. Jim Essien is up and he gets a 2-10. And that is a double 1-7 to seven or a single. All of a sudden Bly Levin can't get anybody out. That is going to be a single. Ninth hit for us. Jim Spencer up. He gets a 3-7. That's going to be bad. That's a pop out to um, second base. And there's two down. And Jack Brohammer up. And he gets a 1-8, which is a line out to second. But the White Sox have incredibly tied the game off the very good, usually very good, Burt Blylevin. And Bruce Del Canton is still out there. Even though he only pitched 24 innings, we're going to give him another inning. Uh, Willie Horton is up. He gets a 5-3. That's, that's a ground ball to first. And you remember, defensively, I put Jim Spencer out there for exactly this occurrence. And it's a 4-2, which is an out. One away. Jim Sunberg up. He gets a 1-7. That's a ground ball third base. Two away. And... Claude L. Washington gets a 4-9, and that is going to be a walk. Claude L. Washington is aboard with a walk. And that brings up Henderson. Ken Henderson, and that's a 2-9, which is a strikeout. And that is the inning for Texas. No runs come across for them. Or wait a minute. Um... No, we're in the top. I think we're in the top of the seventh right now. So I think that was the bottom of the... Yeah, that was the bottom of the sixth. So we are in the top of the seventh right now. And um, Alan Bannister is up against Bly Levin, who is still out there. 5-12, that's a ground ball. Pitcher B, one away. Chet Lemon gets a 3-6. And that is a ground ball shortstop, two away. And Eric Soderholm is up, and that's a 4-7 ground ball to the second baseman, 
That is Bump Wills, and he is a three. And that's a four three, which is an out. So. No runs come across for the White Sox. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and uh, Del Canton is now out of there. And instead, we are going to bring in to pitch Dave Hamilton. Dave Hamilton in 1977 was four and five with a 361 earned run average. 71 hits in 67 innings, and he'll face Burt Campanaris leading it off here in the seventh of a tie game. 6 12 with a ground ball pitcher B, one away. Bump Wills gets a 4 7, and that is a single one to 13. And that is going to be a single. So Texas with another hit. Juan Beniquez gets a 6-7 out of the ground ball. Second baseman. Second baseman for the White Sox. I'm not holding out a lot of hope that he's good. No, he isn't. It's, uh, oh, wait a minute. It may not be him. It is actually, it's Jack Brohammer, and he is a 3. And that is a 4-3, which is an out 1. So the runner moves to 2nd. And there is two down. And that brings up Hargrove. And Hargrove gets a double one to five. That's going to knock in the run. And that is knocking in the run with a single. So another hit. And that is going to be Texas taking the lead by the score of 5-4 with Toby Hara up. And that's a 2-5, which is a walk. Now they got two guys on. And uh, Hamilton has not pitched well here. 1 6, that's a single for Horton. Now the question is are they going to send the runner? And I believe not because it's Hargrove and he's a running 1 to 11. So they will just keep the um, runners station to station for the moment. They have the lead. And Sunberg up. And that's a 5-6, which is a triple 1-3. to three. Come on, Hamilton. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. And knock in two runs. And now it's 7-4. to four. And Claude L is up and he gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball third base. The third baseman, again, not a lot of high degree of confidence that he's anything good. He is a two. Actually, that's Soderholm, and he was pretty good. He's a four, two, and that's going to be an out, but the runs, some runs came in and some damage was done. As we go to the top of the eighth in a seven to four game. And they're going to take out Bly Levin. Bly Levin is done for the day. And they will bring in Len Bart. And Len Barker in 1977 was four and one with a 266 earned run average and 36 hits allowed in 47 innings. And Oscar Gamble will be the first one to face him here in the top of the eight. And that's four six, which is a single. Ten hits apiece for these teams. Richie Ziska. He gets a 3-7. That is a ground ball. Third base double play. Not what you wanted to see. And George Orta is up. And that's a 4-8. And that is going to be a walk. George Orta gets aboard with a walk. And Jim Essien up. 
And he gets a 2-9, which is a home run 1-16. to This is going to be great. And it is. The White Sox have not tied it, but they're down by one now. This is a real score fest here. Score is 7-6, and Jim Spencer up with two down, and he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball first base A. He was in there for his defense, and it shows he hasn't gotten on base yet. But it was nice to see that the White Sox were able to battle back. We go to the bottom of the eighth with uh, Ken Henderson up, and Hamilton is still going to walk out there 5-4. It is a catcher card X. That's Essie and he's a two. Nine and two at catcher is a pop out. Pop out. One away. Burt Campanaris gets a six three. Six three is a ground ball to the first baseman. He's a two. That's Jim Spencer. But that's still a hit. Even with the defense out there. Even with me being concerned about the defense. Um, that's going to be a base hit. So Texas gets another hit. 11 apiece. Bump Wills gets a 6-5. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Juan Baniquez gets a 3-5. And that's a fly ball to center field. And... No runs come in for Texas, and it's all up right now to the White Sox. They have to try to get one run right here off Lenny B, Len Barker, and Jack Brohammer will step in against them. That is a three, that's a single, three eight. I was thinking of pinch hitting for him, but I said, no, you know what, we're not going to do that. So, that is a base hit. That brings up Alan Bannister. And Alan Bannister gets a 1-7, which is a single 1-5. to five. But it is not. It's a line out to third base. So, there's one down. Chet Lemon is up. He gets a 4-9. That is a walk. Len Barker might be falling apart here. We don't know. There's going to be some action up in the... Texas Penn, and that will be Paul Lindblad. Paul Lindblad up in the pen for Texas, and Satterholm up with runners at first and second and only one out. And he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball, double play, and ends the game. So that's your final score there, folks. The Texas Rangers of 1977 win a squeaker 7-6. The line for the Sox was six runs, 12 hits, and no errors, even though the board says two. And the line for Texas was seven runs, 11 hits, and no errors. These teams played as close a game as their records would indicate they might. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.